that they had when she was there in the 60s and uh, I met my dad and he, um, you know, like, it's what a rev like my mom had been writing to this P.O. Box for 30 years without a response. Tom Morello is an American musician, singer, rapper, songwriter, actor, guitarist, film score composer, and political activist. He's best known for his tenure with the rock band Rage Against the Machine and then with Audio Slave. Between 2016 and 2019, Morello was a member of the supergroup Prophets of Rage. Morello was also a touring musician with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. He's also known for his acoustic solo act, The Night Watchman and Street Sweeper Social Club. Morello co-founded Axis of Justice, which airs a monthly program on Pacifica radio station KPFK 90.7 in Los Angeles. He was ranked number 40 in Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. They, will you meet us? And my mom tells me this on the, on the flight. I'm like, Mom, he could be 27 years dead, or he could be living in, you know, Sri Lanka. There's no yeah. telling where he is. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Thomas Baptist Morello, but is also known as the Night Watchman and Tom. He stands 1.8 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. He's a comic book fan. In 2011, it was announced that Morello would write a new 12 issue comic book series for Dark Horse Comics entitled Orchid. Morello has appeared as himself in an array of documentary films such as Sounds Like a Revolution, Iron Maiden, Flight 666, about heavy metal band Iron Maiden Somewhere Back in Time World Tour. Iron Man is a terrorist. And in Shevolution, an expose about the famous Guerrero Heroico photo of Marxist revolutionary Che Guevara. After he graduated from Harvard, he decided to move to LA in the first few months after he moved there. He found it difficult to make ends meet. According to Chart Attack, this led him to taking on a job as a stripper. He was most often booked for bachelorette parties and used to strip down as far as his boxer shorts. He's joked that he was glad there was no such thing as YouTube in those days. His father was a guerrilla in the Mau Mau uprising that freed Kenya from British rule. His uncle is the late Jomo Kenyatta, one of the earliest and best known African nationalist leaders who went on to become the first president of Kenya. Along with his former Rage bandmates, he heavily supported the Free Mumia movement. This called for the release and retrial of convicted Philadelphia cop killer Mumia Abu Jamal, who's been on death row since 1981. As a result of the affiliation, Rage's music is permanently banned from one of Philadelphia's rock stations, WMMR. In 2004, Morello combined activism and music as his alter ego, The Night Watchman, on the Tell Us the Truth tour, which also included Billy Bragg and Steve Earle. In 2021, Morello started publishing a regular newsletter in the New York Times. On September 26, 2014, Morello paid a benefit concert for 15 Now, the group launched by Social Alternative and Kashama Sawant to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. The concert was aimed at expanding the organization nationally. He's a vegetarian. He's a close friend and supporter of Fahrenheit 9-11 filmmaker Michael Moore. He's a longtime friend and protege of U2 frontman Bono, who personally sought out Rage Against the Machine to open for U2 during their juggernaut Act Chung Baby tour back in the early 1990s. He's married to Denise and has two sons and a daughter with her. His son Rhodes was born in 2007 and Roman was born in 2011. Tom has another child from a previous relationship. This in the garage was a particularly unnerving because that meant that people are, you know, sneaking up the driveway in the middle of the night with, you know, a, perhaps an intent.
He was born to Ngethe Njeroje and Mary Morello. Raised by a single mother, Tom's father returned to his native country of Kenya and denied the paternity of his son, who was 16 months old at the time. Morello was subsequently raised in Libertyville, Illinois, where his mother worked as a U.S. history teacher. During this period, Tom began singing in the school choir and became involved in the drama club. During Tom's teen years, he quickly identified as an anarchist. After graduating from high school in 1982, he enrolled at Harvard University and studied political science. He then graduated in 1986 with a Bachelor of Arts in Social Studies. After leaving college, Tom relocated to Los Angeles, where he found work as a stripper. He also toyed with the idea of pursuing a career in politics and even worked in the office of United States Senator Alan Cranston. Eventually, Tom focused wholeheartedly on music. Morello had been involved in various bands since the age of 13. During this period, he purchased his first guitar and joined a band called Nebula. His next few bands included Electric Sheep, and he was inspired by Iron Maiden and Kiss. In 1991, Morello was on a mission to start a new band. He enlisted rapper Zach De La Roca, drummer Brad Wilk, and bassist Tom Comerford to start a new band called Rage Against the Machine. In 1992, this group signed a record deal with Epic Records and started performing regularly in Los Angeles. Also in 1992, Rage Against the Machine released their debut album. Over the next few years, Morello and Rage Against the Machine experienced financial and critical success, releasing a number of albums. After the group had released a total of four albums, Inner Turmoil threatened to split up Rage Against the Machine. In 2000, De La Roca quit, and the group performed its last concert that year. They officially disbanded in late 2000. With De La Roca gone, Morello collaborated with the remaining members of Rage Against the Machine to form Audio Slave. Singer Chris Cornell performed vocals, and the group released three albums over the next few years. On September 21st, 2021, Tom released a new song called Let's Get the Party Started, featuring members of Bring Me the Horizon. I would hope that it would be played at some sort of illegal rave somewhere where people were had jumped a fence. I was in for the journey on that one. It was a jam. He primarily makes money from music and brand endorsement deals. He's also the co-founder of Axis of Justice, which airs a monthly program on Pacifica radio station KPFK in Los Angeles. He earned more than $6 million back in 1992 when he released an album titled Rage Against the Machine with his band, Rage Against the Machine. Then in 1996, he earned $4.16 million from the album titled Evil Empire, which was released with the same band. The 1999 album, The Battle of Los Angeles, helped him earn more than $3 million. The next year, he added $1.52 million to his bank account, thanks to the album Renegades. He released an album titled Audio Slave with the supergroup Audio Slave. In 2002, he earned $3.97 million from that album. He also makes money from concerts and tours. Tom Morello has a total net worth of $30 million. In 1997, Tom paid $950,000 for a home high up in the hills above Los Angeles in a gated community. He lives in the Laurel Canyon neighborhood of Los Angeles. Today, his house is likely worth $5 plus million. Tom Morello likely has the following vehicles in his garage, a Chevrolet Nova, A 1971 Dodge Demon 340 Hemi Orange. And a 1971 Dodge Demon 
a Range Rover.